my hero is my grandmother. And why? Why is she your hero? She's the type of woman. She does everything for anybody. Um, numerous occasions, she'll go out of her way to buy us stuff. And usually people don't even pay her back, but I try my best to pay her back. But she's my hero because I know I can depend on her if my mother's not around or my father. If anything happens to them or my godparents, I know if anything happens to them, I can always depend on her. I have a plan A, B, and C. Oh. My plan A, I want to be a second grade teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I went and shadowed a woman at Chico. And the curriculum that she was doing, it kind of sorts out what I want to do when I get grown. My plan B is to be a chef. If the plan A falls out of category, my plan B is chef. So I want to cook, gourmet chef, learn new things, try new foods, go around the country and do different things. My plan C, if any of that doesn't work out, I want to be a singer. That has been my most... That's my talent that God gave me, so I love singing, so. Okay, so who is your hero? My hero is my grandmother. And why, why is she your hero? She's the type of woman, she does everything for anybody. Um, it, n numerous occasions, she'll go out of her way to buy us stuff. And usually people don't even pay her back, but I try my best to pay her back. But she's my hero because I know I can depend on her if my mother's not around or my father. If anything happens to them or my godparents, I know if anything happens to them, I can always depend on her. It's like a hero to have. Okay. So what do you want to be when you grow up? I have a plan A, B, and C. Oh. My plan A, I want to be a second grade teacher. Mm -hmm. Um... I went and shadowed a woman at Chico, and the curriculum that she was doing, it kind of sorts out what I want to do when I get grown. My plan B is to be a chef. If the plan A falls out of category, my plan B is chef. So I want to cook, gourmet chef, learn new things, try new foods, go around the country and do different things. My plan C, if any of that doesn't work out, I want to be a singer. That has been my most, that's my talent that God gave me, so I love singing, so. Oh, I'd love to hear you sing sometime, and I'd like to try some of your cooking, because I can't cook, <laughs> and I think being a teacher is just as amazing. I've thought about the, doing the exact same thing. Um, what is your favorite subject in school? I want to either go to Duke University, or I want to go to Spelman. My main choice is Spelman. I really don't have any after-school activities Besides um, doing my homework and just studying, making sure that I know my lesson for the next day. Um, but if you want to say extracurricular, I know I love student council. I'm the president of student council. So I love when we have meetings because I can voice my opinion and not be judged by what I say or what I do. Um, it gives me that, that motivation to keep going because I just love student council. And everybody looks up to me like, oh, she's the president of student council. She's like Barack Obama. She's this. So it, that's my extracurricular activity, student council. Or I'll go and just read a book or just keep writing. That's how I started writing the book. So. There's, um, there's, not much, there's not any crime that I know of. It's very quiet. All the kids are grown now. When, I moved, when my brother and my mom moved in there, and my dad, they moved in there before I was born, it was all the kids were Roderick's, my brother's age, Roderick's age. So um, when I got old enough to go outside and play, there were no kids out there. And so I was happy that my cousin came to live with us because she's sort of kind of my same age, but sort of not. She's in the 10th grade. But my neighborhood, it it's not very, you can't be judged by what you do. You don't have to fit in with the crowd. Maybe on the next block you do, but on my block you don't have to do that. You, you can be who you are without being abused or hurt or just harmed in any kind of way. So I like that about my neighborhood. In the area I live in, I could say I would love to see more boys not sagging. That... That is just like 
my number one pet peeve. I hate that. I don't know what, why they think that's so cool. And if they go back and do their history, they probably wouldn't do it. But then again, we've taught, they've taught about it in class and still doesn't get through their heads. So I would like to see boys acting like young men and not trying to be all thuggish and hard and, yeah, I'm in this gang or I'm in this that gang. just want to see him grow up because my brother's in college now and he's just, he's part of my motivation that I just want some young men to do. It's just hard to find a young man out here that has their pants pulled up, follows directions in class, gets good grades. It's very hard to find them. And the ones that you do find, most often they get picked on or they get talked about. So it's hard. And I just want to see that change. I like to see more recycling. More recycling? Yes. They teach about global warming all the time. Sometimes I believe it, sometimes I don't. But I would like to see more recycling, Getting people getting involved with the community, just helping out, picking up this, or having a day where the whole neighborhood just has a picnic or something. Just do something new. Be creative. What I always think, even when I'm in school, you can't help a person that doesn't want to be helped. But the people that do want to be helped, they have to make it known that they want to be helped. They have to show some kind of re relevance that they want to be helped or taught something new. Um, I would tell the leaders that do your best to try and ch just don't push it so hard, but try to motivate them instead of scare them away. Motivate them to do what they, they need to do to go to college, to, to be successful in life. Because it's very hard nowadays.